And vanilla, for those of you that don't know, is the second most valuable spice in the world. And it gets no more valuable than the most original vanilla in its natural form here, deep in the jungles and forests of where it was originally put by God. All right, so we've got vanilla that can be traced back to its original roots way before it was ever shipped out of Central America. ¿Qué tenemos, Helmer? Esto lo que tenemos aquí es vainilla en, en su hábitat natural, la vainilla hondureña que ha pertenecido y ha estado aquí por siglos. Y siempre crecen aquí como con un otro, como un vine, como con el otro árbol y todo. Sí, siempre, árbol. pero no es una, no es un parásito. Ah. Ella se alimenta del aire y de sus raíces que están en el suelo. Ah. Sí, es que hay ramas que se, que se secan y saca otras nuevas. Ah, y ya. La gente la corta cuando corta vainilla. Aquí viene la flor, ¿ves? Aquí viene la flor. En unos 20 días va a estar esa flor. ¿A dónde? Este cosa chiquita. Eh, esto. Pero ahorita no ha salido vainilla. No, ya la cortaron. No, la vainilla es que la dentro de seis meses. Es que ahorita no es temporada. Es buen octubre. Como para octubre eh, sale la vainilla. De esto. Sí. Toma seis meses en formársela. What we have here, uh, my friend Elmer and I. Uh, Elmer happens to be an expert in chocolate. He's a, he has his own chocolate farm and he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a guy that grows a lot of different plants. He's, he's been growing and cultivating a lot of different things. Some beautiful plants. He's got chocolate farm. Like I said, he's got his own line of chocolate and he's been searching how many years now? Many years. Many years. Many years. For, well, why don't you go ahead and tell us what we got here? What we got here, it's a, it's a actual, uh, uh, actually wild vanilla. Um, very rare. Not, not, um, uh, we know that in Mexico there is wild vanilla, but also it's very rare. Uh, mostly there is a uh, vanilla uh, plantifolia, which uh, in uh, Madagascar, Indonesia, Tahiti, they all have this uh, uh, plantifolia. But this, this is the real thing. This is where all these vanillas came from. This is the, the from the, uh, what, what Hernan Cortes, um, uh, brought to uh, to uh, Europe and this 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 is very 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 nice to find uh, you don't find this in just by by I've been asking many years until I found uh, someone who knew where vanilla is the problem with vanilla there's um, uh, to in order to survive they they need to have the the melipona bee which is the only insect that pollinizes the the flower which is an uh, orchid and in so that way is the only way that she can uh, reproduce uh if we use fertilizers uh, i mean all kinds of uh, chemicals uh um agrochemicals then we kill the the little the little bee then the vanilla can not reproduce and, and another problem is people use uh like burn uh, uh, places to to plant beans or whatever, then they kill the vanilla. So, but uh, vanilla used to be many years used to be more than this, but uh, now it's very few and and apart. Uh, it's very hard to find, but very, we're uh, very excited now. Incredible finding. So natural vanilla in its most natural form. Then, wow. Here we go. It's my first time seeing vanilla ever in the wild. You can see there is flowers uh, about to. It's it's a, it's a, the flower buds. That's a flower bud right there. In about 20 days, we will have a a, a nice orchid. Be ready for the uh, bee to pollinize it. <laughs> it only opens. The, the the only rare. The only thing also about the vanilla, it's it only opens for four hours, like from 10 in the morning until two in the afternoon. If you don't pollinize it, or it doesn't get pollinized by the bee or by hand, 
then the, the flower will die anyways and there will be no fruit. So that's the other thing about the vanilla. Quiero, quiere explicar en español también. Sí, quería explicar sobre, eh, que le digo que la, la, la flor de la vainilla solo dura un día. Sí, eh, y, y si no se poliniza de las 10 de la mañana a las 2 de la tarde por esta, eh, la abeja eh, melipona, no, ella no, no va a producir el fruto de la vainilla y por ende pues no se va a poder también multiplicar. Necesita de, de o oh, se poliniza eh, a mano, ¿verdad? Pero es la única manera y esto, eh, esto es un milagro de la naturaleza. Es el, el, el vainilla natural de Centroamérica. Eh, salvaje. Salvaje. En su estado salvaje. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to see more videos like this of us exploring and encountering natural things out in the wilderness and stuff like that, definitely check out the channel Bone Outdoors. We do a lot of hunting and fishing over there as well, but here at Bone Tactical, we are obviously also known for our overland expeditions, travel, and adventures. Thanks for watching. Bone out.